so last summer, I was working in Provincetown all summer long. And so my therapist, mommy, says to me, you know, why don't, why don't we have Skype sessions? And I was like, all right, I'll try that, okay. So we set up a Skype session, and I was in Provincetown, and I wasn't abandoning my kids, just so you know. Uh, ben, 16, he was 15 last summer. He was at summer camp, because as you know, when the school year ends, Jewish children are sent away to summer camp for six to eight weeks. Um, it's in the Torah, it's called Exodus. A lot of people don't know that is the story of sleepaway camp, and... Um, <laughs> And then all the non-Jewish mothers are always like, oh my God, how could you be away from your kid for so long? I mean, don't you miss them? And then you bump into them in the grocery store about a week later and they're like, when is school starting? When is school starting? <laughs> so Ben was at camp and Henry, I don't know how he got this, he got a job at a comedy club. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> so he was in New York and... Um, so he decided while I was away that my apartment would be his bachelor pad, okay? <laughs> Which, of course, I was like, oh, no, nothing will happen. And Elisa, my, my girlfriend's like, Judy, he's really gonna have <laughs> an apartment. <laughs> Which is not how she talks, but that's how I hear her. Okay, so... <laughs> if you think he's not gonna be in your apartment... <laughs> All right, so... I'm like, he's not gonna do anything. So anyway, so I have the Skype session, and that morning... Marjorie Produce calls me up on the phone. <laughs> this is totally true. And she said, uh, Judy, hi, um, it's Marjorie. Listen, I just went into your apartment um, <laughs> to drop off the mile, and apparently Henri had a party, and the place is a disaster. And I'm like, well... How bad is it? And she's like, it's bad. I said, all right, can you send me some photos, right? So she sends me these photos, the whole, th like, it was a fucking, like, a frat house, okay? There was, like, beer cans and beer bottles and vodka and tequila and just, like, pizza boxes and pot roaches and cigarette butts. Oh, and only my son, only my son, there was an empty bottle of Manischewitz Concord grape wine from Passover <laughs> sitting on the kitchen table. So I call up Henry. I'm like, Henry, I get the vodka, the beer. I got everything. Like, what the hell's going on with the empty bottle of Manischew? Why is there an empty bottle of Manischew? It's Concord grape wine from Passover on the kitchen table. It's like, yeah, well, we were doing shots, and you had no juice, and we needed a chaser. <laughs> so it's like, all right, well, did you say the prayer before? All right, I didn't say that, but I thought... So I was infuriated. I was like, I can't fucking believe he did this to the apartment. Thank God I had the Skype session at one o'clock. So I get on Skype. I have an entire hour of Skype screaming about my son. He has no respect for me. He's never going to graduate college. He's a drug addict, an alcoholic. He's never going to get a job. I can't believe it. He, has, he just hates me. I, I can't believe what he did to my apartment. Like on and on, an hour of this screaming and yelling. I hang up from Skype. And I noticed that my therapist Skype name is not the name I know her by. It's actually her married name. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Let me do some investigating on the intranet. So I go on the internet. Now, just imagine I have just screamed for an hour about my drug addict, alcoholic son complaining, okay? I go on the internet and I find her daughter's, mommy's daughter's wedding announcement in the New York Times. Tell me if you would not kill yourself, ready? <laughs> Deborah Rachel Jew... The daughter of Dr. Ruth Jew and Dr. Stanley Jew of Manhattan was married yesterday to Paul Jew, a son of Naomi Jew and Robert Jew of West Newton, Mass. The bride, mommy's daughter, a magna cum laude graduate of Harvard, is keeping her name. She also received a master's degree in the history and philosophy of science from Cambridge University in England. <laughs> and she's a candidate for a PhD in the history of science at Harvard. <laughs> fuck, I wanted to fucking kill myself. So I was like, so I was like, oh my God, what the fuck? I can't ever talk to her again about my kids. I was like, felt like such an asshole. So the next week, all week, I'm fuming, right? Next week, I have another appointment, same time, same place. And I was like, we got on Skype. I said, look, I know what happened last week, but I just want to let you know that uh, Henry has completely turned to Carter. Um, he's up for a Fulbright scholarship. Um, 
He's at the library right now. So why don't we, um, why don't we discuss, discuss my other issues like my mother from now on? How's that? Okay, take care. Fuck you, assume a fuck face. Okay, but... Um, <laughs> 